Heaven's California guys what is going on welcome back to another video and though it is not Wickham Wanderers Cremo but that will be back within the next couple of days don't you worry today I'm wearing the fresh Manchester United shirt I did pick up for Christmas fresh 2017-18 shirt now the video I'm not gonna be this I'm not gonna wobble on this is gonna be the ultimate FIFA ultimate team trading guide Okay, this is going to be trading. This isn't going to be investing methods, because investing methods, I'm going to give you methods that are going to give you guaranteed profit. Trading, uh, investing isn't guaranteed profit. There is never a guarantee, and that's something you need to do with spare coins. Now, a lot of you might be thinking, how have you got 2.26 million coins? Uh, Ronaldo happened. I packed him on Christmas Day. So, um, if there is evidence on that on the channel, you know, I'm not lying. I didn't buy coins. I did pack it. It was late at night, so I couldn't have the reaction open. I didn't have the camera on. So I can react, but what we're going to be doing is trading. Now these trading methods are fairly, fairly simple. So we're going to go on to the first, the first trading method here, which is um, it works any time, uh, peak or non-peak during the market. The method I'm going to do at the end is going to be an off-peak market trading method. This is times where people probably wouldn't normally be playing FIFA. Normally people play FIFA. Generally the market's busier mid-afternoon to late evening about 10 11 o'clock then the market starts to die down again so what we're going to be doing is basically this can work for any league really but i tend to go with the premier league the most popular league in the game now you're just going to want to search gold premier league gold premier league you're going to hit that search button and there's going to be loads of players now personally i snipe between players between an 81 and 84 rated players like storage would be good shemichael Bakayoko, all these would fit, but you're looking for a player that has a bid on it. Possibly Zappa Costa, but what you want to have a look is the price. You're looking at his price, you're not there isn't much profit margin there. So you're still gonna have a look. Wilson, not really much profit margin there either. So there we go, here's one. Gary Cahill has a bid on him. People are bidding on Gary Cahill. Now he's an 84 rated Chelsea player. Let's see what you're gonna do. This again, if you do this right, will get you guaranteed profit. On the bearing in mind that it will take you some time to snipe, so I wouldn't recommend going for the popular snipes. Um, say if there's a say a marquee matchup or something, and people need players from a specific club, I wouldn't recommend going for that because the competition is very hot. Doing making your own sniping filters is very easy on this game, and this is an easy way to do it. Just choose one of the top five leagues. I choose the Premier League. Go and find a player between 81 and 84 rated, and. Uh, just snipe. Snipe with that. But, um, you know, my Ronaldo only sold for what? I don't know. 1.8 million coins. I'd still have had 460,000 coins in my name without the Ronaldo. So that's still quite a considerable amount of coins. But um, you're going to want to find out his minimum buy it now. So there's some there for 6.2. Not many there for 6.2. 6.2. 6. So you can see his minimum buy now is 6. So you're going to want to find out what 5% of 6,000 is. Because do not just go and set it. Oh, he's 6,000. If I sell it for... If I buy one for 5.9, I'm going to make profit. EA tax you 5% of your purchase. So you work out 10%, 600. Divide that by 2, 300. 300 coins. So I'd probably take it down by 400 coins. Um, well, you'd have to take it down by 300 coins. So 5.6k. Set the max price to 50, uh, 15 million coins. Why do I do that? If you just sat there about that and just kept pressing search, search... Search, search, search. The market would only refresh once every 30 seconds. You do it this way, you're doing a fresh search each time. So you're on 15 million. Search, press A, A, left on the stick, B, Y. A, A, left stick, B, Y. A, A, left stick, B, Y. And you get a rhythm going similar to this. Now, I don't know if any Gary K. Hills are going to pop. If they do, that's nice. If not, just go to another player. If anything doesn't pop within the first 50, honestly, it's not worth going for another 50. Just try and do another player because they're obviously using that money of them, that player, going on the market. So I'm going to run through just a couple of players of you. Here we go then. 5.6. And you have to be quick on the buy now. 
you know, you do have to be quick to get the good snipes. Um, it is something that takes time, you know. I started off in the game with players like Davy Class and Wayne Rooney. You know, players that people that players that people genuinely wouldn't want to go and snipe uh, for themselves to use or to make profit on because they think they're rubbish. They're not worth anything. Now, obviously, you can snipe higher rated players, but they won't pop as much. Um, I have sniped higher rated players, but sometimes these players, people list them up for like one or two thousand coins. You can get a good amount. So there we go, we listed the Gary Cahill, we know he's selling for 6k, we'll go and list him for 6k and we'll make 100 coins profit. Now you might be sat there thinking, 100 coins profit, I'll have to do that 10 times and I'd have to get 1000 coins. You will get snipes better than 100 coins, um, it, it, you know, there, there are players that have higher profit margins, there are players that don't. We're going to go through, see if we can get any more here. If we can't, it's not the end of the world, we've got one. But honestly, trading is about building up slowly. This is the FIFA trading, you know. You do this, you're building yourself up coins. Say so you did this for half an hour ago, you could get yourself a good amount of coins to either do some SBCs, invest into your team, you know. If you're a, someone who isn't doing a serious future or anything, a player just like me, who plays uh, Ultimate Team casually, then you would probably hold off getting the more expensive players until the market crashes a couple of times but we're gonna have a look see if we can get another Premier League player here here's one Otamendi you can see our Gary Cable has just sold so we have a look we're gonna do Otamendi now Otamendi is the one there now there is another way there are a few more methods so I will run you through a lot of methods this is gonna be the ultimate trading guide for FIFA 18 so uh, the helps if I spend his name right here he is Nicholas Otamendi so we're gonna have a look how much he's worth Nothing there for 3.2, nothing there for 3.6, 4k, there's still a page worth, so we go a couple hundred down. 3.8, looks like it's going to be his minimum. Could we get away with selling him for 3.9? No, there is a whole page. So we can have a look at 3.8, divide that by 10, that gets you 10%, 380, that'd be uh, 190 coins to have to take off, so take off 200 coins, uh, 3,600, go for another 50 searches. Honestly, you can do 100 searches, then you do have to take a break from the market. Otherwise, you will get a market ban where you're banned from the market for a couple of uh, minutes. But we missed out on there. 3k, that would have been a lot of profit, you see. There's another one. 2.9, that one's gone. Sometimes you do get uh, a little bit unlucky. There we go, 2.9. Uh, so we're going to make ourselves quite a bit of coin from that. We're going to get what we're gonna get five six hundred coins that's pretty good we get it for 2.9 we're gonna list it for 3.9 no 3.8 sorry uh, so we'd lose about say 200 coins three points so we make 700 coins from that profit that's all right that is very decent and there's a couple more here 3.6 and 3.5 so, I mean if they're still available We can definitely make some profit. Probably not on the 3.6s. But on the 3.8s, we can definitely make some profit on these. Now, not much profit, but profit is profit in this game. All profit does add up. Now, sometimes you will get unlucky and you will lose a few a few coins because people will sell things for cheaper and you will have to lower your cards down. Lazy buyers do exist. They will go and pick it up. You know, I listed my... One of my players before for a thousand coins more than they're worth. Somebody lazily bought it. So these are all up there, 3.8. Now, don't list another tip that I do. Don't list too many up there. Nothing than three or four, I'd say, uh, higher than what it is. So that we've got 3.7 there and 3.6. And then the 3.8. As long as there isn't more than a page, it'll be fine. 3.8. They will sell. They won't sell instantly. We can get that one, no. Uh, they won't sell instantly, but uh, that one for 3.6 is going to really annoy me. We're selling it for 3.8. I mean, it's a possibility that we could get it. So now we're going to have to move it down to 3.5. Uh, but we'll continue to search, see if we get anything more. Here we go. 3.5. Boom, we get it. That easy. It's that easy to make coins on this game. They will sell eventually. Um, I'd, prob I'd probably move off Ottomendi now. Personally, because you'll flood the market too much and people will under, under list you. There we go, look, 3.5. So we'll move away from Otamendi. 
it doesn't matter if I lose too many coins on them because they will sell at some point and I'll make the coins back anyway just from playing the games today. Now obviously the objectives will claim that 350 coins, easy way to get coins there, easy way to get things here. I've still got to do my online single matches um, but you know refresh in two days that's fine. But we're here today talking about trading. Now what you can do is, uh, what, what can I run you through next trading wise? Um, there is something that you can do, you can actually, um, I believe it is, uh, you can do something with uh, fullbacks actually. So what you're going to do is set it to uh, a right back, go to random league, just random league, close your eyes, stop, boom, Finn Liga. Go to any club there and you just have a look at their right backs. See what their right backs are selling for. Uh, so do 650. Is anyone there? Yeah. So their right backs aren't really too expensive. You can check their left backs. Anyone there? Yeah. Maybe this isn't the best league, but honestly, there is only one league from that uh, thing there. So that's probably why it's a little bit dodgy. So we'll just move to another league, the Colombian League. Let's just have a look. Left backs, not the best. Uh, right backs, again, not the best to trade with. I don't know. So sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Go to the MLS, have a look at the MLS. There'll be teams where the right backs are fairly more expensive. So have a look at Atlanta United. 250, yeah, not really worth. I'm trying to find an example of what this could work with. I mean, you can even try Premier League play uh, Premier League teams. Five, four hundred coins there. Nothing really worth too much. Have a look at the Columbus Crew. Too many. Sometimes it's best going to a league like a Swiss league and having a look here. Three hundred, three hundred. You know, because anything under two thousand coins, you can sell it for a hundred coins more, and it will work. So them type of big clubs aren't really going to work. Uh, Lugano maybe. Again, very, very easy to get from them. Luzerne, too easy. But sometimes it is worth going to have a look at the fullbacks um, from different leagues and just having a look if anyone's listed them up for super cheap. If they're worth a bit more than they are worth. But there is another method and I believe I might have to refresh my memory this one. So uh, give me a second. This is one I actually picked up from another YouTuber that does work quite nicely. Okay, so here we go. So you want to come over to silver. Now, don't set any league or any position or any nation. That isn't needed. So set your max price to 750 coins and your minimum buy now to 1,000. And you're going to want to search. And you're basically going to want to bid on any player that already has a bid on them. Because these are players that people obviously want. And um, just bid on any player that's been bidded on. So this one here, we'll bid on that one. And you might be thinking, well, this is a bit risky, right? It is risky, but these people are bidding on these players. Meaning they aren't silver players that nobody wants. These are silver players that people actually want. And there's a load of silver players on the market, so you won't have to wait long for any to come through. And sometimes you can pick yourself up silver players that are worth absolutely nothing, but are actually worth quite a lot on the market. So I'm going to keep going through. I think that one had a bid on. No, not yet. Uh, there we go, two more here. Zhang Yu Ning, uh, Mao Pai. Anyone else with a bid on on this page? There was one there, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, 150 on this one. 200 coins on that one. 300 coins on that one. And 150 coins on doing this and this one. So we'll do that. And um, it actually looks like some of our Ottomendis have sold. There we go, look. Ottomendis have come through. 3.8, 3.8, 3.8. Lots of coins on that. Now, we have been upbid on one and we're winning 11. So here we go. We've won quite a few here. We've won the Tisserand. Uh, we'll get rid of all the expired ones. Any more coming through? We've got a Bolly there coming through. And we've been outbid on the Darikwa. So uh, we'll wait to see if all of these come through. Okay then. So all the ones that have come through are through. So we'll remove that guy. So we've got quite a few here. Now what you're going to want to do is assign all, uh, we'll assign all of them and a lot of them we might just, we'll go and throw them all on the transfer list, uh, we'll go and throw them all 
on the transfer list. And we already have this, guys. They're all going to go to the transfer list. Because we're going to look to sell all these guys on. And it's a risky one, but it can pay off. So we'll have a look. Start off with this Delhi crew. Now, we bought him for 200 coins. What are people selling him for? There's a 700 there. I saw a 750. A 300. Okay. 250. 300. 350. So we could probably get away with... I mean, look. We're selling for 250 coins. Um, we bought him for such a little amount. That, uh, what? We're going to lose nothing on him. We'll get 40 coins from that. So we'll list him up, see if anyone does buy him. We'll move on to Mao Pai. Now this one is more of a risky one, so don't all go and start doing this um, because it is slightly risky. So there's a 700 there. We've still only seen 700. So we've only seen 700 coins. You bought him for 500. List him for 650, undercut the market. You're going to get yourself a few amount of coins if any of these guys do eventually go on and sell. Here is Sakor. So how much are we buying for? We bought him for 200 coins. Let's remember that. The lowest we've seen there is 900. Still only seen a 900. 900 coins. So we can undercut the market. Let's list him up for about 750 coins. He should sell on. Uh, Zhang Yu Yuning. Um, so we bought him for what? 300 coins. I see a 900. 600. 550. 400. Uh, 400 again, 400, 450, 500, 450, so we put him for 400, we could sell him for 350, we'll still make profit on him, that's the thing, you're still buying these for so cheap, you'll still make a little bit of profit, and it looks like one of these may have even sold, or was it the Otamendi that sold, it was the Otamendi that sold. But hopefully some of these will sell. They might not sell just yet. But they might do uh, when it comes nearer to the end. So have a look at Fry here. Sounders goalkeeper. We bought him for 200 coins. I see an 800. I see a 350. 250. Yeah. So that one's a bit of a duff one. Um, honestly. We'll list him for 250. If he doesn't sell. Then it's not the end of the world. Uh, Bolly here. What are we going to get? 200 coins. I see 1,500, 550, 450. Okay, I see a 450. We can list it for 300 coins. We'll make a little bit back from that one. Gaffor. Now, he's from the, the Liga 1, 2, 3. Uh, let's have a look how much he's going for. I see a 1.3, 1.2, 1,000. Haven't seen any less for 1,000 right now. Okay, there's one there for 350. And we're actually glitched. Honestly, I think we could sell him for about... Let's try 650 coins. Uh, someone did actually sell that. The Fry. The Fry has sold for 250 coins. That's nice. So we got another rare one here. On down, we bought for 350. I see 1,100. 800. 650. We can list him for 600 coins. Even possibly 550, we're making profit. We sh if these sell eventually, we will make profit. This one isn't the best if you want guaranteed profit, quick profit, but in the end, these will probably sell on. Now, I don't use this one too often, but I have used it before and it did make me a couple of thousand coins. Every couple of thousand coins does count. I'm going to turn the light on because the lighting is a little bit weird on my face right now. But we bought this one for 250, let's remember that. It's 600, 700, 600, 500. 500, 500 is the lowest, so I can sell him for, what, 400 coins, and we'll make at least 100 coins profit from that one. We've got this Tizaran guy, 400 coins we bought him for, I see an 850, 700, 700, uh, 700 coins was the least, we could sell him for 650, we'd make a few hundred coins from that one. Whether these will sell or not, I don't know. But these are just trading methods you can try. You'll have different luck. Here we go, this Dragowski guy. 600 coins. 500, 450, 400. We could list him for 350. We'll still make a bit of profit from him. It's fine. So I have all these silvers there. If they don't sell, they might not sell instantly. But they will sell eventually. Now, there is another way we can trade. But this one is going to require us to go over to the internet. 
to do a bit more intellectual trading. So we're going to jump onto a website called Footbin and uh, have a look what they've got to offer to us. Okay then guys, so I can confirm that seven of the players over on my TV screen right now uh, are still selling. We have sold three, so we are making some decent profit. We've basically already made profit. We're already back to what we were at earlier. Now, we are going to want to have a look at some SBCs here. You guys can't see the SBCs right now, but um, I will just walk them through with you. So we have the Team of the Week 14 upgrade right now, which is a very interesting Team of the Week. I'll uh, talk to you about what the requirements are. So the requirements are uh, mineral to, uh, minimal. The team overall rating is a minimum of 83. So 83 rated players right now are going to be quite expensive. Now that one is open for another hour and 48 minutes. We also have the daily uh, Futmus SBC. I don't know if this one is going to require us to have anything too expensive. No, it's going to be silvers really, so that's fine. The Salad one... Possibly might uh, have some effect in the market, but it's been there for a long time. Again, 84 rated players, 83 rated players I see there. So 83 rated players are needed quite a lot right now. There is the uh, two days remaining on the SBC version of Andrea Pirlo. Uh, on this one, you need 83 rated players again. So 83 rated players right now are basically the heart shit. Uh, they need it. There's also the premium uh, league upgrades that need exactly gold rare players. So gold rare players, a lot of 83s are going to be, uh, they're going to be rather a lot. Uh, they're going to, their price is going to be increased. And there's a way you can have a look at that. So you want to go to this website here, uh, Footbin. It's an amazing website for dealing with the transfer market. Now we want to change this over to Xbox because we're an Xbox player. Obviously you change this one over to your console regarding what console you're playing on. So you have a look at players and you're going to go here to FIFA 18 players. Um, now this is a slower way to do it. Actually there is a better way to do this. Hang on. So you're going to want that open as well. But you're also going to want something else open. And it is... I believe it might be this one, possibly. Uh, let's have a look. Let's just open that in a new tab. Hold on a second. Let's open this up, see if this is it. Wait, no, this is the player's game. Player game preferences. No, it's not this one. Oh, I see it. I see it. This is what we want. We want market. We want the market, and we're going to want this one here. And we're going to open the index up for... Now, we could open the index for gold... Silver, ones to watch, special or index 100. But we're looking specifically for 83 rated players right now. We're going to go down to 83. I'm just going to open it in a new tab. So we will need this tab we've got open right now. Open it for later. Now this is something that you can do to try and make more profit from your snipes. So as you can see right now, the market for uh, live graph right now is fairly uh, expensive. Now you look at the hourly graph. Um, and we're going to go back, I'm not sure how long it will go back to, uh, we go back to yesterday, we're going to go back to yesterday, now 6 o'clock is when the SBC came out, that is when 83 rated players went up in price, that is when the Team of the Week 14 SBC went live, um, that went live and people wanted 83 rated players, there was less of them on the market, so their prices rise, and it went up there, from what, 201.16, this is just a fluctuation, don't really pay too much attention to the numbers, just if that graph goes up, 83 rated players have gone up, and today, what was their highest peak yesterday, they're at 290, today they're down at about 290 as well, there's up up there at 300, right now the time we're recording this, 4 o'clock, they're up at about 300, which is, uh, that's nice, that's nice to see, they're up at 300, earlier they were up at what, uh, 310, but, yeah, they're staying at basically 300. That one was quite high. To get above 310 is quite nice. Um, but then you're going to have a look, and you're going to move down. You're going to have a look at the players that have gone up in price the most, the top ups. Now, the market momentum, the, the market is starting to wake up. Player prices are starting to go up. These players, don't buy them. Uh, these players have gone down in price a lot. Uh, so I wouldn't bother buying them. But these, price, these players over here, the prices haven't risen too much because they all rose yesterday. But uh, the prices are still up. So you can have a look at this page, you can have a look. 
Uh, the biggest player fluctuation that are market that are introduced on the specific index. Uh, the market momentum will show the mood of the market. If it's negative, neutral, or positive, a value of 50 is neutral. The closer the value is to zero, the more negative the market is. Maybe overwhelmed by new players from packs, and also vice versa. The closer the market is to 100, the more positive the market is. Could be lack of packs or recovery from big packs, uh, because when people go and buy loads and loads and loads of players and go and open loads of packs, the market becomes fluctuated and all the prices crash. But um, that's basically all you're going to want to do. You're now going to want to jump back over to FIFA uh, once we had a look at this. So we're going to set this, we're going to go to the player's database, and you're going to want to put the minimum rating to 83, and you're going to go the maximum rating to 83, and filter by the custom rating. That is important. That will have all, <coughs> excuse me, we'll have all the 82 rated 83 rated players that are currently in the game on our screen. So we're going to set it to the lowest Xbox price because people are going to want the lowest priced 83 rated players. Now these are obviously the special ones that don't currently have a price. So the lowest one right now is Nemanja Matic, Yaya Torre, Ruli, Pastore. So there's just a couple we can have a look at on our market right now. Okay then guys, so we had a few there, we knew, I'm just going to use two examples, we knew that we had Nemanja Matic and Yaya Torre. Now what I'm going to do, you won't be able to see this, but I'm going to actually have a look back on my foothead. Because what you're going to want to have to look, I'm going to have a look at this specifically, which is thing we do want to work out. So having a look at Nemanja Matic here, it went to 6 o'clock yesterday, his price actually went up to 3.4. Right now, as we're talking, his price is about 1.5, but actually, no, that was Monday. So he basically doubled in price. Today, he's at around 3.6k. So uh, hopefully, if I minimise that, it should be fine. We're looking good. So have a look at Nemanja Matic. Uh, maybe not the best player to trade with, but we'll have a look anyway. So uh, obviously, he's not a silver. He's a gold. We're going to have a look how much Nemanja Matic is. Now, this... Transfer market was showing that he was at 2k. He's not at 2k. He's at about 3.4. Don't know if that's a snipe. Not really, because we can't make any profit from 3.4. Let's face it, 3.4k. Uh, the 3.4 is well, the max we can sell it for is 3.6. It's looking like 3.4. That'd be 340, 170. We could actually make profit on that, so I'll buy it. Ah, oh, there we go, it's expired anyway. So, um, the silver players are actually uh, moving, which is good. Nothing there for 3.6 right now either. Them two have both been taken up. So, 3.7, there's one there for 3.1. If we can get that one, we did. We can sell it for 3.7. It's a good amount of money. It's a low line. Not many people would be sniping Matic, if I'm being honest, because not a player that everyone thinks is going to be... Uh, very well accustomed to being sniped, but 3.7 is there. 3.7 that is 370. Uh, that would be what uh, one four one three five. No, more than that. One seven five. Wait, we want 370. I'm, my maths is awful. I'm going to do it on the calculator. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, okay, we're going to have a look on the calculator. There is an EA tax converter you can get online, but it's just as easy to do it on your calculator. I'm not good at maths, really well. I was good at maths, but we'll do, let's do it this way. 370 by 2, 185. So you want at least 200 coins off, I'll not, we well, can sell it for that. I'll knock it to 3.5, we'll have a look. There is something here, 3.5. Now, you might be thinking, you might be sat there thinking, hang on, you're not going to get much profit from that. You're going to get... 15 coins. It's 15 coins that you didn't have before. Just look at it that way. I look at it that way. I don't look at it at the profit. I'm not looking at how much profit I'm getting. I'm looking at if I didn't have done that snipe, I wouldn't have had them coins. That's what I'm looking at. So we're going to go through, have a look if we can find any manual matches. That's a huge snipe. 2.6k. We're going to make nearly a thousand coins off that one. Probably nearer 900 coins. But that's a big snipe. That is a very big snipe. We can list him for 3.7. Again, I wouldn't put more than a couple up on the market because you don't want to over fluctuate. There's one there for 3.5. We'll buy it. We'll list it. Nemanja Matic, easy as that. So we'll list him up. 
3.7k and there we go so this is easy as that you can basically see what the what the concept is you're buying players that are going to be needed for SBCs have to look if their price has gone up since the SBC we'll have a look look at what sold loads of our silver players our silver players have sold and we've made profit for today already only four more to go with over half an hour they've only been they've only been on the market for 15 minutes which is absolutely fantastic but there is one more technique I would like to try and show you around to doing. So we're going to actually have a look at another player that was on here, which looked like the second one on the list was Yaya Torre, I believe. It was. It was Yaya Torre. Now, we're first of all, going to make sure that Torre has actually gone up in price uh, since yesterday's drop. He should have done... Uh, again, it's showing the lowest one that was 2.K, but the rest are showing at about 4,000 coins. Uh, he was more expensive. This is a daily graph. In around the fourth, he was about 6k, but he has gone up since then. But what we're looking at is the hourly graph. I'm looking at yesterday at about 1600. He went up a little bit. He went up a little bit to about 4k. Today, he's sitting at about 4k, and apparently, he's gone down to 3.1 right now. But we have a look on here 3.1. There is no Torre for 3.1k. So we'll have a look at about Torre's price. He's about 4.3k. So what I'm going to do, I'm looking at 4.3k. I'm going to quickly do the maths on here. 430. We could sell it. We'll do him for four. There's not many there for 4,300. He should sell. So 430 divided by two is 215 coins. Um, so we'll actually be doing it this way. This is going to be are uh, uh, bidding this is going to be a bidding process so we're going to do is set the max price to about 4,000 coins and just search we'll close this internet down and what you're going to want to do is just put a bid bid on a couple within a couple of uh, minutes I'd say about a five minute time zone just put a couple of bids down this is normally easy when the market isn't so so yeah we've got five there within I always do it within five minutes with the players I do in yesterday yesterday evening I was doing it with Riyad Mahrez and I must have made about five, 6,000 coins. It was really, really good. Uh, fantastic, fantastic session. But that was about 12 o'clock. It was between 11 and 12 I normally do this one. So the, the market, there's still players on there, uh, but there's less competition as such. So we go over to our five winning right here and we are, we are being outbid. Now we know our maximum is about 4,000 coins. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go into a bidding war with these people. We're going to go to a bidding war, and we're just going to see if we're going to win any of them. If we could get this on for 2,100 coins, that would be absolutely fantastic, but we probably won't. Now, this is easier for people who maybe aren't so good at sniping, because you can just keep going through, having a look if you've still got them or not. It looked like our coin total just went up. Yep, there we go, 2.5. And it's easy as this. We're just bidding through. Keep going, keep going. You know your maximum for your profit. He's selling at 4.3 right now. You're going to want to get him for about 4k. That's your maximum. Just keep looking through. Any that have been outbid. There we go. Another one been outbid there. We'll top the bid up on that one. That one's 2.7. We'll actually do a double bid. Sometimes this can uh, scare them off. If you do a double bid that quickly, they might think there's a load of competition. So you do a couple of bids in quick succession. They might move on to the next Torre, which I have. I have all the five Torres just coming out. And if you could get some of these... For this cheap amount, imagine the coins, it'd be about 5,000 coin profit for 5 minutes sat here, not really doing much at all, which is amazing stuff really. But uh, the 3k hasn't seemed to have scared this guy off. Uh, we'll keep topping up the bids here, that one's been already bid on. If it goes past our 4,000 coins, we'll just come back off from it. Sometimes you'll get coins from this, sometimes you won't. If you've got a spare 5 minutes, you there on your phone or on the phone to your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your mum or your dad or your friend and you're a FIFA player just come and do this honestly it's so easy to make coins from and someone's actually bought that one for 4.6k again a lazy buyer there has gone and bought that one for 4.6k which is a bit annoying but you can't win them all I guess so we'll go to this one there keep our bid topped up there we go if our bid got that one for 3.4k we'll get a bit of money from that one this one's going at 2.7, 1.7 for that one right now, 1.4 for that one. We get these bids, we quids in with Yaya Torre. It's that easy. Now, one of them has just been outbid on. It's this one here, bid 2.5. 
We'll top it up to 2.6. This one's looking good. We're looking at 2.7k. Someone's bid 2.8, so I'll bid 3. Now, we have one. We've won at least one, so we've guaranteed ourselves at least some profit. So if you're not that good at sniping, this way is a great way to get yourself some profit and you will get through and I said you can use these coins for investing in your team investing in other transfer methods that you might want to look at someone a bit more experienced with the market for that someone doing the road to glory this is really my first year actually using the market as a a market to trade with but uh, we'll make sure all of these have been outbid on so uh, we'll top up the bid if my controller would work there we go top up the bid for that one We'll top the bid again. Loads of people bidding on that one. We'll top the bid up. We'll top the bid up to that one, 3.2. These are all running out. People are bidding a load. This is coming up to our 4K boundary. Do you want to keep going on it? Yes, because there's still profit to be made. This terrain here has gone up to 3.1. We'll bid 3.2. We can't bid 3.2. We'll bid 3.3. Can't bid 3.3. We'll bid 3.4. This one here has been bid 3.6. We'll bid them up to 3.7. Again, you want to try and, this isn't just to, this is always to make sure people aren't getting good deals as well, really, isn't it? You don't want people getting silly amounts of players. Now, obviously, you can't do this for, you could do this for about half an hour and get loads of Torres and see how many you get. Uh, again, we've got one there, 3.6, money in that one. We're looking at that one there, they're going for 4.3 right now. What's that? I mean, it's basically 200 coins or minus from that. So, you'd make about 700 coins from that one. You'd make about 500 on that one. Again, this one's coming up to our 4K. Honestly, there, I wouldn't bid anymore because the profit margin is too small. And loads of people are there, so we'll just remove it from the transfer targets. And this one here, again, uh, we'll put another bit of 3.9 down because we can still get a little bit of coin from that. But if we can't get any more, then we can't get any more from it. We'll wait for 23 seconds. And this is a really super way, this is a super way to make coins, honestly. Again, playing games is really important, as I said in the last video um, on Ultimate Team. Playing games is important if you are a squad battles player, doing your squad battles if you're a foot champs player, doing your foot champions. Uh, online season you can use easily, if you can get to Division 1, easy way to get to foot champs. If you want the end of rewards, play against the computer each week. It's tedious, but again, I've got 8 games to play before tonight. Well, not eight games. I need to play at least five. Well, yeah, I need to play at least four today. Um, I need to at least refresh it. I need to do that opponent update before 12 o'clock, basically. So I need to play at least four games. It looks like we've got this one for 3.9k. No, we didn't. He went for four. But we've got the two here. So we'll quickly have a look. See how much the Torre is going for on the market. We'll adjust the price. Have a look if there's any going 4.1. Remember for 4.1. There's a couple there for 4.2. So we'll go for the 4.2, I think. We'll go for the 4.2. Good job we didn't go for the 4 then, because we wouldn't have made any profit from it. But we'll list them up for 4.2k. And we'll make ourselves a decent amount of coins. It's not a huge amount of coins. But um, it's more... It's money that you wouldn't have had before, isn't it? That, at the end of the day... It's coins that you wouldn't have had, and now you have got them. And, you know, once you have done this, and you can start going to the bigger players. But this is basically just a beginner's guide to trading on Ultimate Team. And uh, hopefully I've covered all the basic techniques. There we go, one sold already. And we have made ourselves a lovely bit of profit just in, what, this half an hour sitting? It's easy. Easy money. I haven't even been looking at your big players. Once you start building up, you can get the big players, you invest it into packs, invest, and you might even be as lucky as me and pack yourself a Cristiano Ronaldo and throw yourself into the Ronaldo. I haven't actually shown you my teams in a while. This is how my team's looking. There's the legal one. Um, some very, very hefty players here. All very good players. Um, Aspas and Ben Yedda. Very good, as you can see from the goals to games ratio there. Fairly good for Aspas. I've just bought Asensio. Fantastic player. Then the Premier League team. Very unchanged. Um, there are a few faces in here. You might think, why have you got these in there? Uh, this back line, absolutely solid. Begovic, as you know, fantastic. Bakayoko, fantastic. Herrera, love him this year. Info Moyi, very good at just controlling the ball and stuff. Wayne Hodner, 
very good against the computer. Now, I do play against the computer on Legendary as well. So you do have to remember that. Storage has actually been very good as well. And Jesus, I've packed him at the start if you remember that. And just 64 games. That's nearly 100 goals, over 100 goals contributed to. That's basically, what, 64 and 39. That's 103 games. He's nearly contributed to two goals every game, which is absolutely fantastic. But that is going to be our beginner's guide. Another player has sold. It is a Torre. Can't remember how many coins we started off on, but we've made profit definitely. Hopefully you'll enjoyed this beginner's guide. Hopefully you'll all be now sitting there making yourselves some coins and hopefully getting as many coins as me to make sure you've got enough coins ready for a market drop. Either to get yourself some cheeky packs or maybe to just invest in your team when player prices do come down a little bit or to get yourself a decent team like mine. But thank you much, all very much for watching. Hopefully you'll enjoyed. Drop a like, drop a comment, drop a sub. Hit the notification bell, because you never want to miss out on one, one of my videos. You all know that. And last, but certainly not least, don't forget to share the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.